Hello everybody! This is Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Make yourself comfortable. First, make sure to like this video if you end up enjoying it. Comment whatever you want to comment. Um, subscribe for more of my videos and content. And also turn on that bell to know when I post. It's every Thursday, but you might forget, so you should totally do that. Um, and also make sure to follow my two Instagrams, my makeup one, which is Modified Makeup by Mad, where I post all my makeup looks. And also my personal one, which is Madeline McBride underscore. It's just kind of like me hanging, chilling. I post memes on my story, selfies. So yeah, follow that one. This is a weird video, not a weird video, a cool video for for me to make because double zero where I'm at now was my original goal size and I feel like it's everyone's original goal size for ear stretching but my new one is 7 a 7 inch so now we're gonna go there these are my ears my little lobules oh my god my hair Ugh. right now at double zero um, I now think they look small and tiny and now we are moving right on up to seven sixteenths of an inch Yay, uh, it's only a millimeter jump, so I'm not too scared about it I actually have a gauge card from body art forms that I'm gonna kind of be re 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 Referencing that's always a hard word for me to say referencing to kind of see the jumps um, It only ends it ends at five eighths of an inch. So after that, I guess they're like good luck figure it out Seven sixteenths of an inch is 11 millimeters and double zero on here it says 9.5 millimeters but my double zero bag I have here from Amazon says 10 millimeters so it's only gonna be a one millimeter jump according to the sources I have so it shouldn't be bad I've done a millimeter jump almost every time so I'm not worried about it but I am also for some reason anxious for this video because I'm like bro like after double zero like that's kind of like you're you're getting off the training wheels of the gauge sizes and going onto the inch sizes and I'm like ah! like a little scared I'm not gonna lie but even though it's just the same thing as always like in all my other videos what you're gonna need is uh, some kind of lubricant to stretch. I use vitamin E oil. Um, you're gonna need soap to clean out your ears because you have a lot of dead skin buildup. Um, use antibacterial soap, not like Bath and Body Works or some shit. Um, and then since I have long nails, I use Q-tips to kind of get all up in my ear because um, I have these. Start with my right ear, um, soap it up, clean it, lube it up, and then throw that gosh dang plug in. I am dead stretching. So if you're like, yo girl, where's that taper? Um, I've never heard of tapers. What are tapers? Um, but what you do when you're dead stretching is you wear heavier plugs and let your ears stretch naturally until they are just like loose. You just wait a couple of weeks. I will show you actually, because I actually have the glass plugs out, the difference between 7 sixteenths of an inch and double zero. Oh man, this does look super big. Why does it look so big when it's only one millimeter? So, I don't know if that's focusing. That's the difference. And then I can show it from like the back side. That's the difference. We got seven sixteenths of an inch and then double zero. So we're gonna clean my ear. How's everyone doing by the way? Are we all doing great? Oh, here's my ear without a plug. It's really kind of still a small hole, nothing really too crazy. Um, a lot of people ask me when they think like they should size up when they're dead stretching. I say when you pull down on your plug and it looks like loose, you know what I mean? And also if you clean your ear and it doesn't hurt at all and you're able to like fuck around with your ear, that's when you know. Like if you're cleaning your ear and it still like feels a little tender, I guess is the best way to put it, then don't do it. Uh, you have to wait until your ear is like definitely like super comfortable at the size you're at. So definitely a couple of weeks. A lot of people say a month, but I just go with whatever my ears tell me. All right, so we're all cleaned up, all looped up. Let's stick this bitch in. So I'm gonna put my thumb behind it. Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen, this one is one of the first sizes I went to that it's like hesitating. Cause usually, if you've been a seasoned watcher of my videos, these will slide right in. So I'm like, huh. There she goes. Okay, so this is the first size I went to. It's stinging a little bit. It was like the plug usually would just slide right in. And this one was like kind of hesitating a little bit. And I was like, eh, okay. But no, it went in. So now I'm putting the O-ring on. But here is my ear at a 
7 16ths of an inch. I'm super excited. Next year. Oh my gosh. Okay, it doesn't even hurt at all anymore. But at first, I was like, <laughs> like, that scared me. I was like, dude, I've never really had like ear stretching pain. Really? Like, it always, like, sometimes it'll pinch, but I'm like, nothing worth mentioning, I guess. But, but now we're gonna do the other ear. So, again, we're gonna clean it. Just getting some soap here. Take out this plug. This is my easier going ear. So, I'm pretty happy about that. And I got the other one out of the way. We're getting a new tissue. Because. I don't know, sometimes like if you start with your easier going ear and then you go to the one that hurts more, you kind of like surprise yourself. You're like, ow, fuck. Sometimes if you get the worst one out of the way, you're like, okay, from now on, it's gonna be good. And also I'm just gonna mention again in this video, I usually leave newly stretched ears, like I leave the plugs in for like three days after I stretch and then I don't touch them at all, <laughs> like literally at all. And then... After three days, I'll take them out every day and clean them just because I feel like they will get wonky if you don't. Second, I'm gonna try to put this in. Oh. Just stare at the dead spider on the floor, Maddie. It'll all end soon. It's in, by the way. What the fuck was I saying? <laughs> Wait, what was I just saying? <laughs> I was staring at the dead spider on the floor and it just like it made me immediately made me lose all my fucking memories. Oh yeah, after leaving it in for three days, clean them after that every day. Like, I made that mistake before, and then my ears started getting pretty wonky. Like, they, they would get pissed, because they're like, kind of freshly stretched, and there's a lot of dead skin. But if you take them out, right after you stretch them a lot, they will also get fucky. So wait three days, then after that, clean them every day, oil them, put them back in, give them a little massage. Here we are. Both my ears are at a motherfucking 7 16ths of an inch. And what is next is, on here, it says half an inch. But I'm doing in-between sizes. So for me, what's next is gonna just be 12 millimeters. Yeah, just another millimeter jump. I'm ha so happy I'm going slowly because I feel like if I was flying through this, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I don't wanna fuck up my ears. I'm so scared of doing that. I've watched too many ear stretching videos of people being like, do not screw up your ears. I'm like, okay, okay, I won't. Yeah, that's it guys. Okay, sorry, I'm just like basking in the glory that I got past double zero. <laughs> I'm gonna be back next week on Thursday with another video, so stay tuned for that and also, more ear stretching videos. You guys really seem to like these. These are doing way better than all my other videos. So, you know, if you're on my channel because of this, check out my other ones. See, see what's going on. I'm fun sometimes, maybe. I will see you guys next week. Bye.